the next part from this position this is called the outside this my racket's going to the outside this would be the inside if your racket goes this way it's not going to work see what I'm going to show you how to do is I'm going to show you how to make the racket head go faster but it's going to be shorter remember the name of the game is simple how hard can you hit that tennis ball and keep it in? And that's what you see on TV. How fast can you hit that ball and keep it in? It's called racket speed. How much, how fast can you hit the ball and still keep it in? Anybody can hit it a hundred times, you're just going like that. But there's someone on the other side, all right? So this is what it's all about. You want the racket, we're gonna make the racket head go faster, but it's gonna be shorter. So here's what you do. Unit turn, the shoulders take the racket back, Pretend like you're nudging someone. See where my elbow is? Arm is straight. Racket's up. It can be a little tilted. Now from here, pretend right there is a dog. Yes, D-O-G. Pretend there's a dog. German Shepherd, Poodle, does a Copper Spaniel, whatever you guys want. So there's a dog. You're going to tap the dog on the head. See, I tapped it. All right, don't pet it. I don't want you to pet it. That would be this. See the angle of the wrist? If my wrist is like that, it's not going to work. The rackets, it's not going to work if you do this. you got to tap the dog. Look, elbow up, elbow extension, like you're tapping a dog. You see how the racket is? Almost all you guys here go like this. Almost everybody here goes that way. You won't, listen, you can do that. I'm just saying, you're going to have a semicircular swing. You won't get as much power or top spin as you get older. I guarantee it. I'll explain all this. So, nudge. Now watch this. Even though it's going to be hard for you to loop, the racket loops to the outside. This is what you see. They loop it to the outside. But for right now, we're telling some of you guys, just go here, elbow extension. Look. Elbow up, elbow extension. Elbow up, elbow extension. Now, why would this be wrong? Anybody know? Watch this. Be, what now? The, the face is pointing up. So it's yeah, I just, I like karate chop. I killed the dog. Okay, you don't go hot. It's not this. <laughs> Look, it's, it's tap the little guy. This way. Your hand has to be this way. Fed, Nadal, Djokovic. They come out of the loop. You stop the camera, you'll see this every time. Look. There's, there's the racket every time. The strings are down. Okay, and when they pull it, then it's going to do the next thing. What? Nudge. Boom. And if you did this, if you just went A, B, and hit the ball all week like that, it would be the best thing. Because if you try to flow or loop the racket from here, I know what you're going to do. Your brain's going to go, I've kind of been here, I'm going this way. Because you've got to confuse your brain. You've got to kind of go up, down, and then you're going to do the stroke. Watch this. Now, because the racket is to the outside, everybody listen. See how the racket's like outside. That's inside. This is the outside. When the racket's to the outside, see the head and the wrist? It's caught. Djokovic, Roddy, all these guys, when they come out of the loop and they pull it, it's always here. The racket head is above the wrist. Biomechanically, if you want to hit the ball the hardest, forehand and backhand, the racket head should be above the wrist when you pull it. You wouldn't hit a ground. You don't see these guys doing this. Watch. You don't see them go... They don't go, they don't put the racket down and do that. It's like this. You see, all this act, that's kind of what it looks like. You see all this activity from the leg and hip, and then they pull it. Look, the racket head's above the wrist. So, A, B. Everybody with me? Now watch this. When the ball comes, I don't go back anymore. This is my backswing. But when I pull the racket, and even though I'm talking muscle mechanics, even though I'm talking the mechanics of your arm. The legs go first. You drive the legs up and turn your hips. So what I'm saying is, if some of you guys don't want to bend, I'd like, I'd retire right now and play golf, take up swimming, <laughs> ping pong, do something else. So if you don't want to bend, none of this is going to work. So if you bend, then you're going to be able to do the leg and then you can turn your hip. Like hitting a golf ball, uh, baseball, anything. It starts from here. That starts first. But we're talking about the mechanics of your arm. So, A, B, now watch this, I'm going to pull it. What do I mean by pull it? I pull the racket to the ball. When I pull the racket towards the ball, are you with me? 